This video is for those who are interested in cluster charts and we're going to tell you what red and green colors mean. These colors are most often used to display clusters. We are also going to provide examples of how to analyze these clusters to make a trading decision. This video will be helpful for beginners who want to understand footprints and for experienced traders who want to master professional instruments for analyzing stock charts. First, let's draw a parallel with the used phone market. We are in the section that has sale offers for iPhone 13. You can also switch to the seller mode and add your offer for the sale of an existing iPhone. Exchange trading works in a similar way. Using the depth of market indicator, you can see sell offers, top, and buy offers, bottom, on the chart. The exchange, as a classified website, collects incoming buy and sell orders and makes them publicly available. Such orders are called limit orders. We see the sum of limit orders at each price level. And now, as we're approaching the topic of this video, there are two types of trades. The first one, market buys. They occur when a trader agrees with the price in a sell order and buys an exchange asset, opens a long position or closes a short one. The second type, market sells. They work in an opposite way. They occur when a trader agrees with the price in a buy order and sells an exchange asset, opens a short position or closes a long one. Now let's convert the standard candle chart into a cluster one using the ADAS platform. To do this, you can select the appropriate menu item or drag the timescale with the mouse. Cluster charts display detailed information about stock trading volumes at each price level. Have a look at the menu on the left. Here you can select different types of cluster charts. Most of them display volumes in two colors. Market buys are displayed in green, market sells in red. You can get more freedom to customize colors in the settings manager on the cluster tab. Now let's move on to examples. But before doing this, please note that the ADAS trading and analytical platform can be downloaded for free. All indicators and chart types that you see in this video will be available to you when you download and install the platform. Learn more at ADAS.net. This is a bid ask ladder cluster chart, Bitcoin futures from the Binance exchange. Here we kind of look inside each candle. The left column indicates market sells for each level. These trades are called bids, the brighter the red color, the greater the amount of market sells. The green color in the right column indicates market buys or asks trades in which buyers purchased contracts offered for sale. The brighter the green color, the more market buys were recorded. The cluster statistic indicator has also been added to the chart. It shows the sum of bids and asks for all levels of each candle, as well as delta the difference between asks and bids. Now let's look at the chronology of the process. A lot of sells were recorded at a bearish breakout of the 19,800 level. But then the price went up, closing at the highs and rising above the levels at which sellers were active. This pattern suggests that buyers' positions were liquidated, the price fell into the zone that accumulated their stop losses which were set below the 19,800 support level. During the next plunge under the 19,800 level, the volume of market sells was not very high, according to the clusters. Therefore, we can assume that the selling pressure ran out of steam and the appearance of buyers led to the formation of supports and an upward movement. Download ATAS. Explore reversals from important levels using cluster charts, you will see how the presented chronology of the process will be repeated over and over again in different variations. And it works not only for bitcoins. The following example is Euro Futures from the CME Exchange. Let's have a look at the intraday reversal from the 106 level. Chart settings are the same. During the first plunge under the important level, we can see a spike in market sales. But then the price rose sharply. Why did it happen? It's likely that buyers' stop losses were triggered, which doesn't necessarily indicate a true selling force as it's often just a liquidity that is used by more experienced traders to increase their long position. The next plunge under the 106 level takes place at a less aggressive pace and the seller's pressure is relatively low. It's probable that the reason behind this decline is to trigger new buyers' stop losses that were placed below the previous day's low. Note the activity of the appeared market buys, this is a sign that the market is changing its behavior to bullish. 
The data provided by the clusters allows for sufficient time to assess the situation and make informed decisions about going long in anticipation of future growth. However, no one can guarantee it. You should keep the odds in your favor. To do this, download ADAs and use history to study two-color patterns on clusters. Then practice recognizing them using the market replay module to gain a trading advantage and work confidentially as a trader in real time. In this video about the two footprint colors, we briefly described how you can use the analysis of market buys and sells to read enough facts from the cluster chart and make an informed trading decision. We hope it was helpful. Hit the like button and leave a comment. And thank you for watching.